Good evening, everybody. Greetings from Ukraine. Thank you for watching us. And uh, yes, indeed, we live in very special times, uh, times when the whole mankind kind is fighting over invisible enemy. We are all fighting with the coronavirus and many countries uh, go through difficulties, including Ukraine. Situation in Ukraine is uh, staying uh, still difficult. Um, and of course it brought changes to our daily lives, basically to the life of every person. And we had to meet these new challenges and to adjust and to meet these restrictions and to go on in our daily lives. And uh, it was especially difficult on elderly people and uh, as well on some young families who lost their jobs. And uh, you know, many families in Ukraine, they live from salary to salary and have very little savings. And uh, basically this situation uh, brought us to uh, brought to us many phone calls when the Jewish uh, organization started calling and asking for help, for help with food parcels, for help with hot meals. And uh, as you know, we do this action of food parcels a few times a year. And this year we expected a group, uh, a working group from Netherlands and Germany in June and in May. But uh, due to restrictions, the groups didn't come and we had to pack uh, food parcels with locals. So uh, over these last two months, we packed over 7,000 food parcels and uh, delivered them to different cities and communities in Ukraine. And then uh, we faced another uh, challenge. Uh, there were lots of elderly people among those who received food parcels. And we were thinking, okay, how we can reach to those people and how we can help them. You know, and at the beginning we had doubts, should we uh, deliver hot meals to these families or not? As soup kitchens were closed and uh, elderly people were asked not to leave their homes and they were recommended to stay at home and uh, to have no visitors. So we, we had a bit of doubts what to do. But then we said, okay, we go on and we, start we will start deliver hot meals. And uh, when we came for the first time, knocked on people's doors and they opened and they saw the hot meal. They said, wow, thank you, they were happy. Then we can, came back for the second time. People opened the door and they saw us again. Wow, they were surprised you came back again. But when we came the third time and the fourth time, people uh, said, wow, something is going on here. You are helping us. And, uh, and uh, they started op opening up their hearts and even sharing about their life with us. And uh, I remember we came to one lady, she opened the door and she said, you bringing us not only food, you bringing, you giving to us something else. And what you give to us is hope. And from that moment we realized we cannot stop. We have to go on because indeed uh, visiting those lonely and isolated people, we brought not only food for them, we realized we were bringing hope, we were bringing encouragement, we were bringing comfort. And from that moment, we spread uh, our hot meals in other areas. And within the last two months, uh, we had about uh, 27 different Jewish communities that were helping with the hot meals, delivering to people's homes in different cities in Ukraine, in Vinitsa, Kiev, Zhytomyr, Mariupol, uh, all over Ukraine and uh, every day about 6,000 meals were made and <clears throat> with a group of local volunteers uh, we delivered those meals to people's homes and indeed for the people it was hot meal but it was also a sign of hope a sign of attention and a sign of care and uh, <clears throat> we shared who we are and we shared why we are doing this and we also uh, met many new families and it was a chance for us to share about Aliyah. And uh, many people, uh, elderly people, they have relatives or children in Israel, but for some reason they were staying behind. And while talking to those people, they said, you know what? Now <coughs> experiencing these difficulties in, in our lives, we understand that we are lonely here. And we see how Israel treats uh, 
people. We see how Israel deal, deals with corona, and we see what happens to us here in Ukraine. Basically, we are alone, we are forgotten, we are isolated, and we want to go to Israel as soon as possible. So, thanks to these visits, we also made a few nice contacts, and um, one of the ladies we visited was a former cook in the Jewish school. And many times we encouraged her to go to Israel, but she always postponed her her trip. She said, oh, maybe not now, maybe later, maybe this, maybe then. So this time we visited her with a food parcel and she said, Ira, I would never thought in my life that I would be on a waiting list to go to Israel. She said, after Soviet Union broke, opened the borders, we lived in freedom. Since that, we never experienced re restri restrictions on uh, going to Israel. And I never thought I will have to wait for the borders to be open and to go. And now I'm ready to go. I have my passport, I have my visa, but I cannot go because of the situation. So as soon as there is a chance, I would like to be the first one on the plane. So it was important to visit those people, support them, help, bring them hope. And, uh, and we are going on. We, we don't stop with this. Even uh, the situation starts improving, praise God, and. Uh, you know, people become more free now to walk in the streets, the public transport starts working again, <clears throat> and the markets are opened. And of course, there are still restrictions, but life become, is just becoming a bit easier. And we thought, okay, maybe we stop with these meals. Maybe people can go and do things on their own and shop, but no. They call me every evening, oh, please don't leave me. Please don't forget me. Please come and visit. We understand that they need support, they need attention, they need somebody to talk to, and most important, they have this feeling that they are not forgotten or left behind. So that's what we were busy with this last two months, and uh, I'm not afraid to say this on behalf of many Jewish people, elderly people, young people that we visited. I want to thank everybody who takes part in the Ministry of Christians for Israel, because uh, most of the times it's us who hear the words of gratefulness, but I know it's also you who support, who pray, who come and visit us in Ukraine. And we hope uh, to see you soon again, and maybe you join the group and be one of the participants to deliver hot meals and to pack food parcels and to visit those people, to look into their eyes and to give them a nice warm hug of love and comfort. Thank you.